Um, Paul, this is your um, first game of many, but how did you how would you assess your first time playing with, with Kawhi on the court? Did your chemistry get on the court? Uh, I thought it was good. You know, I thought uh, defensively we uh, that came natural, that came easy, um, and then offensively, I thought uh, I thought we were great. I thought we are still trying to get in sync with everybody else. Um, great thing about myself and Kawhi, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. We're gonna play basketball. We're gonna, um, you know, try to make the right plays and play off one another and, and just keep the game flowing. So. Um, I thought an aspect in that in that aspect uh, we were good. Hey Paul, it was mentioned earlier that Doc empowers your players, you guys, to kind of be the best you can be and do do what makes you guys feel comfortable. Will you th elaborate on the relationship you've had with Doc thus far this season and in the few games that you, you played? Uh, I think, <clears throat> I mean, Doc is is just phenomenal um, from play calling to. Um, kind of just being a father figure, um, that type of relationship uh, where he brings outside stuff that's going on to us and kind of, um, you know, elaborates on what's going on around the world. And um, I think just the relationship with him and, and allowing us to be ourselves, allowing us to bring what we bring to the game um, without losing what the big goal is. Uh, is, is what you want out of a coach who's not here and doesn't want to change anybody's game. Uh, he just wants everything to tie in together. Paul, Pat had a, a few key threes late, you know, 16, 17 rebounds, three steals, a couple blocks. Uh, how did he kind of swing the game late with his energy and then rebounding? I mean, he saw 16 rebounds. Um, he probably hit three big threes in a row. I mean, that's, that's Pat. That's Pat. Pat is a winner. He makes winning plays. And you saw uh, every version of that tonight. Paul, how fun was it to fulfill the dream that playing with Kawhi for now a couple of years you've been wanting to play and now you fulfill that? How fun was it to get on the court with him and play tonight? Oh, that was fun. It was fun. Um, you know, it, it was fun to see what this team would look like um, on the defensive end. And, and then offensively, it was fun to see how we'll, we could play off each other. Um, I mean, fact of the matter is, we, we're going to have growing pains, and uh, I think the most positive thing about this team was we understood that, you know, nobody was pointing fingers, nobody was, you know, dropping their heads in huddles, nobody was, you know, at, at no point was this team ever uh, dysfunctional. Um, we understand, and we understood we're going to have growing pains, we're going to make mistakes. Um, it's not going to be pretty right now, but I think what you saw is a team that's Whatever the case may be, we're going to find a way to win. Uh, Paul, here in the back. A couple of days ago, you said it would be difficult for defenses to shrink the court on you guys. Were those corner threes from Beverly kind of an example of what you were talking about with the play? Hit? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You see it a lot. Um, whether I'm on top or Kawhi's on top or who's on top, and we're in pick and roll, nobody is helping off that. Uh, that top nail guy, uh, which you see a lot in the NBA, um, you just can't. And I think that's what we're going to get better at once we really learn each other uh, how to pick apart that defense and the pick roll. Hey, Paul, what's it like having a team so deep where the fifth and sixth men like Pat and Lou can make all the plays in crunch time, too? It's great. It's great. And then you got, again, two guys that understand who has the hot hand. Um, I don't care about who gets shots. Kawhi don't care about who gets shots. Uh, we're both willing passers. And, um, you know, we, we need everybody. This is, this is not a two-headed monster. Uh, we need everybody, and, and, and you know, I'm not afraid, and I'm not scared to say uh, I'll lean on those guys uh, on a night, nightly basis. Hey, Paul, Doc was saying that there are times throughout the first half that you felt a little exhausted. I was wondering where, where do you feel like you're at after a few games, and, and how do you try to fight through those stretches? Uh, low management definitely uh, wasn't in effect tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, it was, it's, it's great. You know, this is, again, this is preseason, uh, you know, for me in terms of my condition and getting up to speed and playing at this level. Um, you know, I was a little winded tonight, um, but I thought as the game went on, my win was getting better and better. And, um, you know, it, it felt good. You know, when I got up to 37 and playing down the stretch, I felt good. Uh, but that's all it's going to take is it's just me getting it up there, me exposing uh, my win and, and, you know, 
tire myself out to get it up there and get comfortable playing uh, 30 a night. Yeah, they're, they're the uh, top team in the East, and you had to come from 10 back in the fourth, and then you had the heartbreak when Tatum hit the shot to push it to OT. But you did manage to win, so how, how good of a test to come through for your team was this for you tonight? Uh, big test, big test. I mean, I was devastated to give up that three um, after that uh, stretch. Lou gave us uh, to take the lead. Um, that one would have been a tough pill to swallow, but uh, my guys had my back um, in OT. Pat made big plays, big shots. Um, I mean, that's honestly, that's what you see in teams that want it. Uh, they go find a way to win. Uh, Paulo here. Um, obviously, this is you know the first game playing with Kawhi. What were your impressions defensively on how you guys kind of looked tonight, and kind of you know your thoughts going forward on kind of things you might have to improve upon, kind of getting in with the new lineup? I mean, I thought he was great. I thought he was great. Um, put myself, Pat, uh, Kawhi, and Mo out there, Trez. I thought he was great. Um, again, <clears throat> this is it's, it's it's all learning. We all figuring this out. I mean, for y'all, y'all expect us to, to be at a certain level, but we know it's, it's, we're going to get there. Uh, the fact of the matter is we're winning while we're learning, and that's what you want to see out of us. All right, three more. Uh, Paul, as a two-way guy yourself, what did you think, uh, how would you break Kawhi's dunk, and what did you think of that uh, game-ending block? Uh, I mean, that's that's the finals MVP, man. That's that's a guy that's, that's – he does it. You know, he, he does it. He knows – it's time to take over. Um, you know, he's, he's been there and he's, he's won championships for multiple ball clubs. So uh, he knows how to stomp and put that foot on the uh, opponent's neck. And, uh, you know, that's what you saw him do tonight. Paul, Jason Taylor said he kind of looks up to you. You know, you're kind of a, a model for him. What's it like going against him? In, when you're a defender like that, you just have to sometimes swallow when you give up a three like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this it wasn't the first time I was on the Tatum highlight, so uh, it won't be the last, I'm sure. <laughs> um, you know, but I, th that's part of the game. You know, that's part of the game. Um, I, I don't buy into that. My job was to continue on and try to win the game. Um, you know, but he's, he's special, man. He's a special talent. Um, says a lot about him when he has to go against myself, Pat. Kawhi, Mo, and still, you know, pull his team together without, you know, Gordon in the lineup and still put up 30. So it says a lot about his talent and uh, his skill. Um, but he's he's good, and he's good. It's the reason the Celtics are off to the hot start they are. All right, last one. Paul, it was, I think it was the second half that JP was working on your left leg for a while. Was that something that cropped up tonight, or was that something that's lingering that just kind of felt sore? Yeah, it was something that just got sore uh, tonight. Uh, you know, I, I, I was good. Just late game, it started to cramp a little bit. All right, thank you. Thank